question to Professor Yusuf. Sir, uh, uh, you are a, you are converted from Christianity into, into Islam. Yeah? Please explain this in detail. Is it a spiritual transformation or is it testable evidences? I guess you missed that one, didn't you? This is your first night, isn't it? This is your first night, isn't it? I already did that one. It takes about an hour and 40 minutes. I don't know if you really want that one right now. But I'll tell you where you can get it. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. First of all, I want to tell you something. Thank you for taking your time to be with us and share. And please, um, I'm from Texas. And we have an attitude in Texas. We don't really mean anything by it, but it's kind of like a pushy attitude. So when I do stuff, I hope you'll understand it's just a bad habit that I have. And I want to really greet you in the right way and treat you in a good way, okay? And you have good questions. And certainly, I have myself, when I was very much younger, had some of the same thoughts that you've had. How could there be a life after this life when you don't see anything? And how could there be a God when I don't see any God? So, what's the evidence? And this is really what it keeps coming back to. What can I prove? But there are people that no matter how much you try to prove to them, they're not going to accept it. They say, I'm a seeker of truth. How many people here have you met somebody said, I'm a seeker of truth? You've, we all have. But when you bring them the truth and they go, but I don't want to accept that, then why? So many of the people who claim to be scientists and following scientific testable evidences, when we show them real proof with testable evidence, when it doesn't go with what they already want to believe, they refuse to accept it. I recall just a couple years ago in one of the scientific journals that I picked up in one of the airports, there was an article talking about the scientists had come across some study under a microscope in a laboratory to realize that there was a particular life form that actually had been here in the same form since forever and a day, but it never evolved. It is still exactly like it always was. And they don't have any precursor for it. It just showed up one day on the earth, and therefore they decided this broke their idea of evolution. And they came up with something, and they called it, this is a design, and it has intelligent pattern behind it, ID, intelligent design. When they came up with this, and a number of other professors began to agree with it, there was one particular professor in Colorado whom they quoted in their journal. When he heard what they had said, that there was some intelligent design, without examining their evidence, without considering to read the material, their thesis that they had produced, he totally debunked it with his statement. He said, this is a bunch of bull and he used the word that we use in Texas all the time. That was his answer. And he was one of the top professors in his field in Colorado. But when it didn't agree with what he already wanted to believe, he doesn't even need to read it. He doesn't need to study it. He just knows already it doesn't work. Is he a seeker of truth, yes or no? Is he? I don't think so. Because a seeker of truth is willing to look at all evidence. In fact, in fact, it is not a logical person who takes testable evidence and sets it aside for his own preconceived notions. Sir, I'm going to guess that you've been exposed to religions that have a lot of mistakes in them, that you can prove those religions are wrong, and I'm going to agree with you. In fact, I'm going to agree with you in that I'm going to say there isn't any God anywhere in this universe. There is only the God that created the universe and he's not in it. Then I'm going to agree with you if you said there's no religion that is correct. I'm going to say you are right. No man who made religion can be correct because we're not God. But sir, if there's a religion, it has to come from God. And this book tells me in Adina, in the Lahil, Islam. Which means in Arabic to English more or less, 
that Allah, the creator and sustainer of the universe, is not going to accept any of the man-made religions. He's going to only accept the way of life which he has asked us to follow. It's a choice for us to accept or reject. It's as simple as that. Now, as regards the idea of testable evidence, I gave you a little scenario there. But I have one, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters here today, and our esteemed scholars with me. I want to share this with you, not that I'm trying to teach you anything, but rather something that you can use to, for the children, because I'm very worried about our children, and I'd like for them to know that we have evidence that's testable. And I use this when I go into the schools, elementary schools, and visit with them. And I want you to think about what I'm going to say. And remember, I'm directing this to a child's mind, not a big scholar, just a little child. I tell them there's a story I want to share with you. Let's have some fun. And the kids like to have fun. Now, I'm going to ask you guys to help me make some noise. So whenever I say the whistle, I want you to go, woo-woo, and all the children will do that. So you help me out, woo-woo. All right. Now I'm going to say the bell. I want you to make the sound of a bell. Clang, 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 ding, 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 bell. Okay. Now I want the sound of a train coming. Make the noise for me, yeah? Stomp on the floor with your feet. Okay. And they'll do it. They're having fun. Now let me tell you the story. One day you and I, we're walking along. And we come across a place where there's a railroad track. And somebody has put a tent on top of the railroad track. And we say, oh my God. And we go to him and say, sir, who are you? He said, I'm new here. Well, uh, is this your tent? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? No, no, you're on a railroad track. He said, a what? A railroad track, sir. He said, I don't know what you're saying. Railroad track. Railroad track. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, a railroad track. Yeah, it's kind of nice, isn't it? That's why I'm set up here. Make some little bars on the side to keep the bugs and stuff from away from me. And I can't. No, 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 sir. This is for a train. A what? A train. What's a train? You know what's a train? Who never heard of a train? You know what's a train? He said, I don't know what you're talking about. It's really big. It's huge. Is it bigger than a mosquito? No, it's big, big. Bigger than a dog? It's huge, sir. It's really a train. It's something big. I don't know what you're talking about. Sir, this train is going to come through here. You need to move your tent because this train will be here in about 15 minutes. I don't believe you. No, sir, there's a train and it's going to come. I don't believe you. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. I don't feel anything. Therefore, it doesn't exist. Sir, please move your tent. No. You want me to move my tent so you can take this good spot. I found it. Go get your own. This thing is long. You can go that way. You can go that way. I'm not moving. This is my tent. I ain't moving. And you can't make me. Sir, I don't care about that. But this is a lovely little place right over here or right over there. But, sir, you have to get off of this. You can't make me. Sir, this is a railroad track. No, it's not. Then, sir, tell me what it is. What is this if it's not a railroad track? These are designed for wheels to go right here on these two things called rails. And then these boards hold it in place. What do you think it is? Well, these are steps. They're steps? Yeah. Then what is this little rail? He said this is steps for a midget to hold on to. That's his rail. Sir, if I can give you any evidence, will you listen to me? Any evidence at all, will you believe me? Sir, if you hear the train coming, if you hear the bell, okay, then will you believe? Yeah, okay. And if you hear the whistle, will you believe? And if you feel the ground moving, will you believe? He said, yeah, okay. In a few minutes, sure enough, the ground starts moving. Do you feel that, sir? Do you feel it? He said, no. Don't you feel it? It's shaking. It's shaking. He said, it's another earthquake. It's a tremor from the one we had on 26 December. He said, sir, I told you it was going to happen. It's time. The train's coming. It's coming around there. It's big. It's going to hurt you. It's going to kill you. Sir, please move off the track. 
don't believe you. But you said you would. Listen, listen. There's the bell. Listen. He said, that's the ice cream man. What am I going to do with this guy? Listen, there's the whistle. Listen to the whistle. Huh? He said, that's a sick owl. Owl. You know the bird? Woo, woo, woo. Okay. What can I do? What can I do to convince this man? Are these not the signs of a train? Yes or no? These are the signs of a train. You have shown him the signs, yet he refuses to believe. And Allah tells me in the Quran, it's not me who guides him. That's not my job. I've delivered a message. Now it's for me to get off the track and get away, far away, so I don't get all this on me when the train hits him. Step away. Sir, we've produced evidences here tonight that are testable. I'm sure that you didn't have time to go through all of it tonight, but you can visit our website and test the evidences for yourself. Prove these evidences to be true or false. Either way, that's up to you. My email is wide open. Askislam at AOL.com. And I can publish your question and answer right on the Internet so anybody can see what you have to say and what I have to say about it. And you're most welcome. But be sure you read the evidences first. Because otherwise I'm just going to send you the links and send you right back to it. Okay? At slamtomorrow.com. Check it out for yourself. I'm not trying to guide you to what I have. It's not my religion. It belongs to him. If you like it, it's your relationship with him. And you will never have it until you go in your own heart. Clean away your prejudice. Get rid of all the things, misconceptions, hatred that you already have. Clean your heart. And then challenge God. I challenged God 13 years ago. When I put my head on the ground, the only thing I said was, God, if you're there, guide me. Listen to the statement, if you're there. Is that not a challenge? That doesn't sound like somebody that's really that convinced all of a sudden, does it? So probably you're not convinced. That's fine. And I'm not telling you to make a prostration and put your head on the ground either. I'm not saying that. I did. Because I had met a gentleman who I really liked a lot and I saw what he did and I felt like he was doing a good thing. But all you need to do is go inside of your own heart. And if you're sincere and you really mean it, if you said, God, you're the one who created me, if you are there, then you ought to know what I'm thinking. I don't have to even move my mouth. Prove it to me. Go ahead. Prove it. I dare you. And if nothing comes, hey, you didn't lose anything, did you? But if you see anything after that, you have really seen signs. Does it make sense? I'm going to finish with that. If you have anything else, send it to me in the email. Really appreciated it. Anybody else have anything tonight? Let us know. Uh, I would just like to add one minute, uh, because you asked for the evidence. Personally, myself, like my brother Yusuf, I converted also from Christianity. But actually, I went from Christianity to communism and then to Islam. So I chose Islam based on being convinced of the evidence of Islam. Not a personal experience, but studying the system of Islam, comparing it to communism, capitalism, Christianity, uh, Hinduism, socialism, all the things that were out there. After comparing, I came to the conclusion that the best of what is in all those isms, I found it in Islam. And I didn't find in Islam anything which went against uh, my reason, which seemed to be harmful, etc. So after studying it, I felt that this must be the true religion or the true way of life really you know which would which would guide me in my life and which was best for humankind this is what I was convinced of actual belief in God because having been a communist for a number of years I had denied God's existence so that took its own time for me to have my own personal experience to be convinced that yes there is a God but from a testable level, you could say, 
and from a practical level, I was convinced by the system that Islam had to offer.